from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Lauren St. Germain. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, your top stories at this hour. A Sarasota man who is a member of the Oath Keepers is the first to plead guilty to conspiracy charges in the riot at the U.S. Capitol. Graydon Young is pictured in the Capitol Rotunda wearing a tactical vest and black helmet. Today, he agreed to cooperate with the government's conspiracy investigation into 15 of his fellow Oath Keeper members and the group's activities. The Oath Keepers are known as a far-right militia group. Young will now be out of jail until his sentencing. The penalty phase for now convicted murderer Ronnie O'Neill is underway. O'Neill is facing the death penalty after a jury found him guilty of murdering his girlfriend and their daughter and attempting to kill his son. He represented himself during the trial, but at the advice of the judge, has allowed standby counsel to step in for the sentencing. You can hear today's testimony from the victim's family members and people who know O'Neill in the story posted right now on our website, abcactionnews.com. And today's update from the FWC shows red tide stretching from Charlotte County up to Pasco County. Here's a look at the water sample map. The highest amount of red tide right now is in Pinellas County with low to medium levels spanning north of Clearwater to Indian Rocks Beach, Madeira Beach, Honeymoon Island and Fort DeSoto. There are also medium to high levels in lower Tampa Bay in Hillsborough County. And as the blue moves, we are helping you track red tide conditions in real time. Just go to our website, abcactionnews.com slash red tide to find the link. Now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis. Hey, don't everybody. Another round of heavy weather across the area on Wednesday. But as we head into the latter half of the weekend of the weekend, things are going to change. We've got more sunshine back in our forecast. And the rains will be more late day, early evening variety. So waking up on Thursday morning, a mixture of clouds and sun. I still think the rains hold off until later on in the afternoon, and then they come back toward our beaches Friday through the weekend. More of our classic summertime pattern, meaning lots of sunshine up until about four o'clock and then some stronger storms right along the coast between about four o'clock and eight o'clock. A look at Florida's most accurate seven day forecast. This is Florida. Highs in the low 90s, rain chances 50%. That is a classic summertime pattern for at least the next week.